Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel, and thanks for joining me. First of all, I want to apologize to everybody for last night, Saturday night. Sorry I couldn't hang out with y'all. I had a migraine that would not quit. I came home from work, I took a shower, and I went to bed. Sorry, don't mean to let anybody down. I missed y'all, but I needed to rest my head. I don't know if you can tell by my eyes or not, but that was a nasty headache. But I do have a Sunday thrift haul for you, and I want to share it with you. So I'm going to start out with a couple textiles, if you will. I got a couple new shirts. Um, these were blue was the color of the day, and so this was half off. So I got this. This is my kind of shirt. And it's got um, the roll-up sleeve with the button. It is a J. Jill, whatever that might be. I don't care. I like it. I'll wear a tank under it so it's not, it's really sheer. But it would be really cool in the summertime. It's got blues and greens. It's really cute. Okay. No. And then I got this one, and this is Jessica London. It was also half off. It's just a black one. Three-quarter sleeves. Or whatever. I like the little smocking at the top on the bodice. And then, I found this piece. And it was $3.99. Pretty sure it's a curtain. But y'all know how I am about curtains. I like the print. It's sheer. But if you put a white cloth down first, then this will be beautiful. And I have something planned for it. So now I've unfolded it up. Unfolded it. And, but I like that. I like those little stripey stripes. It goes well with what I'm working with. I'm already pre-planning. So we got that. It's not folded proper at all. So I got that. Then I got this, and I just looked it up online before I started this video. I saw another one, and it was um, Mark 1969, so I'm not sure. Pretty sure it's not Lefton, but it looks very close to Lefton. It's just a divided Christmas tree candy dish. It's got something right here, and it's I know it says mold. But I don't know if it's a Holland mold or what it is. Because it's so worn down you can't even tell. But I paid $2.25 for it. So I thought it was cool. I got that. These next things I pondered on. I didn't know if I really wanted to get them or not. But I went ahead and got them. They're marked 94, 1994. H-O-L. Whatever that is. And um, they were two for three twenty-five, so I got them. If nothing else, I thought they'd look cute sitting on my uh, shelves for the holiday. We'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm still pondering these, but I thought they were kind of cute. But y'all know how I am, so I got these. Okay, then I got these just because I wasn't going to pass them up. They were $2.25 a piece, and it says porcelain bloom right, I think it says. Porcelain bloom right. All right, and I got two of them. Just a little... Dutch clogs. So, I mean, you know. For, what did I say? For $2.25, like $5.50, I got two of them. I got them. All right. Then, I got this, which I hummed and hawed over this too, but I went ahead and put it in the basket. It's supposed to be $6.99 each bush, 
and I got two, and I paid five twenty-five. This is gypsophilia, fancy Latin word for baby's breath. And I figured there was spring coming up, I could use this in my stuff. So I got those. And I found these. This was yellow, marked two twenty-five. This is milk glass. Um, I don't know anything about it. I'll look it up. But it's like little candy dishes. And they're in the grape. So I went ahead and got these for $2.25. They'll go with my milk glass. Then I found these. And with spring coming up, I thought with some DIYs, I could put some stuff together. It was $2.25. And I get three little bird nests. Two of them are grapevine, and then the other one is more like a moss one. So I got those for DIYs, 225. Then I found these, and those of you that don't know, I love trains. So I got these for Christmas. These are made in China, so it's no big deal. And I got home and I saw that the little arm is broken. But you really can't tell. Too bad. There's him. And then there's this piece. And you can put lights in them. And then here's the little engine. But I just thought they're cute for Christmas time. And I paid three twenty five for all three pieces. So a dollar a piece. Even with the little arm broken. It doesn't bother me that his arm's broken. Bless his heart. But I thought they were cute. It does say Merry Christmas on the little um, on the little train passenger car or caboose. I think that's the caboose. But I still think it's precious. So I got this. When I am finished with this video, Christmas is leaving my house. It still is not gone yet. I can't drag myself out of the bed before 11 o'clock on my days off. So then I lose my whole day. And I'm so mad at myself for doing that. But that's what I do. <clears throat> so Christmas is leaving the house. All right, I got these. This was $1.25. And I've got a collab coming up. And I need these serving pieces. So it's nine plastic black serving pieces, heavy duty for $1.25. And they're just all the same. And it lets your pieces match. So I went ahead and got these because I need these for collab coming up. <coughs> then I found this. This was $2.25. And I just thought it was cute. Y'all know how I like my wooden pieces. And I'll just show you. Look at him. Just a snowman. A hand carved. Not a hand carved. Just a cut out wooden piece. Probably MDF. Um, yep, MDF. It was two twenty five, dollars But it's a little snowman with the red and black buffalo check. And the little off-white lace. And his little arms need gluing in. But at least they were there when I got it. And it was, like I said, two twenty-five. Cute. Just a little snowman. So I got him. I'm putting oh, I got another tote. It was three twenty-five. And I'm piling stuff on top of it instead of putting it in it. Alright, then I got this piece. I got it for inventory for when I start my eBay store or whatever. Um, we're just gonna give it a go. This is Norlene's, um, Japan, and I just thought I'd give him a go. There's not a, no blemishes or anything on it, no boo-boos, and I don't know when they're from, I think somebody said the 50s, I don't know, but I've checked all around, there's no cracks, nothing's missing, nothing's broken, the chains are still intact. So if anybody knows anything about this piece, it's Norlands, Japan. 
and I put carriage or coach, and it didn't come up. So if anybody knows anything about it, let me know. Okay. Then I got, I found this little piece, and I just thought it would look good with my gingerbread stuff. And I paid $2.25 for it. It's just a little ornament. And they were charging 6 bucks for this. And I paid two twenty five. It's just a little gingerbread boy in a teacup. And like I said, it's an ornament. But I thought it would look really cute on a tiered stand or something like that. So I got him. Today was knick-knack day. Then I found these. And these, I just wanted them. I don't know. They appear to be vintage. They do have a cork. But that doesn't always matter. Um, they're just precious. These are salt and pepper shakers. And they just look very, very woodsy to me. Very cool. So I got them. These were two for two twenty five. I like these. Very natural. Okay, then I found these. And I know somebody made them, but bless their heart, I can use them. They were a dollar twenty five a piece. But I thought they'd look really cool with my 4th of July decor. Little flower pots. I can put anything in them I want. If I want to put plastic spoons and forks on the table, I can use these for to hold them. Um, whatever. I can put a little liner or something in it and put M&Ms or something like that in it. I just thought they were really cute. And I can put flowers in it. So I got these. And I've got... Two more things. This says it all. Christmas calories don't count. This was two twenty five. So I got him. I just thought it was cute. It'll look good on a candy station or you know, something like that. I just thought it was precious. So I got it. Okay. Now, this, I have one more piece, and this piece I spied from across the store. Whether it's depression glass or not, I don't know, but it sure does match my pink set, sort of. So I got this, and I paid for it. I paid $4.25. I don't see any kind of marking or anything on the bottom. But I'm going to call it an iced tea pitcher, a water pitcher, whatever. It does have hearts on it all the way around. You see the heart? It's not chipped anywhere. Even the spout is in good shape. The rim, no chips. And it goes so well with my color of my depression glass. So I went ahead and got it. I thought it was cute. So it's mine. And that, my friends, is my Sunday thrift haul. Thank y'all so much for hanging with me. I appreciate it. Some days I'm a little bit more draggy than others, and I apologize for that. I do get tired. I work. But um, trying not to let it mess me up, if you will. Um, I have to keep consistent, and I have to keep posting because... Y'all, I love y'all, and um, I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep on going. Rain or shine, sickness or health, I'm committed to my YouTube channel and my friends. So, that's it, my loves. Uh, Tuesday, I'm supposed to be going to the DMV, Division of Motor Vehicles, uh, to try to get my birth certificate. The one I have is not sufficient. It's a copy. And it's lasted 56 years, but now they want uh, one. So I've got to go try to go and get that taken care of. Because I really want to get my trip booked. But um, I will try to stop by Goodwill and see what I can find. And try to post a video for y'all. But um, with that being said, guys, that's all I have today. I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my constant supporter. Uh, Y'all mean the world to me. You really do. So, please subscribe, share, comment, and like.
Peace.